In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And gathering as we do on this weekend when we celebrate the ascension of our blessed Lord into heaven, uh, you are very welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. And it's great to be back as a community to celebrate our faith. Our theme on this day is the ascension of Jesus. In his word to us, we remember, I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. There is no time or space limit to the presence of Jesus in our lives. Let these words find a deep home in each one of you. I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. Alleluia. And to prepare ourselves as we gather to celebrate our Mass today, we just pause a few moments and we ask the Lord's forgiveness for those times where we have failed, failed to love God and to love one another. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit, and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For forty days he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there, for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Or are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, 
It is not for you to know the times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked down, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky, when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of the Lord. Our response is Alleluia, Alleluia. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. Response, Alleluia. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. Response. Alleluia. God is king of all the earth, sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. Response. Alleluia. The second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner in the Lord, implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably, in complete selflessness, gentleness and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one Spirit, just as you are all called into one and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism and one God, who is Father of all over all, through all, and within all. The Word of the Lord. Our Gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Go make disciples of all the nations, I am with you always, yes, to the end of time, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus showed himself to the eleven. He said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. The one who believes and is baptized will be saved. The one who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils, they will have the gifts of tongues, they will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place, while they, going out, preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord. Gathering as we do in, in faith, in this time of resurrection and when we celebrate the ascension of our Lord into heaven. We reflect back on the time of the apostles in the early church prior to the coming of the Holy Spirit. They were afraid and went back as we are told to the upper room, possibly the same room that the celebrated first Eucharist in on Holy Thursday. 
And it wasn't until the coming of the Spirit that things made sense to them. They were afraid because they didn't hear what Jesus really was saying to them. Know that I am with you always to the end of time. It was the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that they came to know the power and the presence of Jesus. And in the Gospel today we hear what we as Christian people are called to do, to go and to proclaim the good news. Again reminding us in St Paul in writing to the Ephesians says, I, a prisoner in the Lord, I ask you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. And the vocation of each, of each Christian is we are called to open our hearts to the presence and power of Jesus, our risen Lord and Saviour. And in turn, we are called to make the Father's kingdom present in our world, in our community, in our homes and in our lives. We profess our faith now as we pray together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to God our Father in our prayer of the faithful. We pray as we continue to move forward and our country opens up from this lockdown that all will be safe and well. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are struggling to keep their businesses viable at this time. May they grow from strength to strength. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are living abroad, waiting to travel home. May they find hope in the knowledge that travel will open in the later summer. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are suffering at this time. May they find comfort in renewed visits from family and friends. Lord, hear us. We pray for all faith communities. May they grow strong in their coming together in prayerful praise. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who mourn at this time. May the Lord comfort them and May his light shine deep in their hearts during their time of sorrow. Lord, hear us. And let us give thanks for the words of Jesus spoken to each one of us. I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. And we pray for all who have died, remembering John Joe Dohany of Moat Street and New York. And all are faithful departed. We pause a moment or two now and bring them to mind, those whom you would like to pray for.
and may they live in the wonder and beauty of God's eternal life and love. Lord, hear us. Father, these are our prayers. We make all of these prayers with the prayers of our Mass today. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread which we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine which we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honour the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ to Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens, as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and human beings, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Dennis Nolte, the Apostolic Administrator of our Diocese at this time, and all who are called to ministry in your church. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honour is yours forever and ever. With great confidence in a Father's love for us as children of the Father, as sisters and brothers of Jesus, we are privileged to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And Lord, though we cannot receive you sacramentally at this time, we hear your words, Lord, to us again. Know that I am with you always to the end of time. May we never be parted from you, Lord. May we open our hearts and our lives to your presence always. May we proclaim your goodness and love to all we meet. And may we never be parted from you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.
Behold, I am with you always, yes, to the end of the ages. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate the divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where your, our nature is united with you. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and keep you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.